Hey guys, welcome to Horror on Me. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell. And on today's video, we are going to be unboxing the 2016 Mezco 112 uh, PX exclusive Frankenstein figure. I'm really excited about this. Um, I've been looking at this for a while, want, debating if I want to open it. Like I said, I'm going to start opening more figures and showing you guys in closer detail on this channel. Um, so we're going to do that here in a little bit. We'll get the camera down close. We'll take a close peek at it. Uh, but one of the reasons I did want to open this is it's just not really presented well. The box is nice, um, but you can't really, it's not like an ultimate where it just has a flap and you can open it real quick if you want to look at it. Or if it had an open face packaging um, where you can kind of display it and look nice in the box. Um, so basically the way this work, this one is, is there's a slip cover, slips off, and then there's still a box within the box. So, and basically the way they have it is there's a little flap here that will flip and then it will reveal the figure inside. So, um, even with this, it's very shiny and it's just too many steps to be able to look at the figure. So I think this would be better to be out of package. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get down with the camera and take a closer look. Okay, so we are back now, and I just pulled the slipcase off of this and exposed the box. So let's get into this, guys, and actually take a look at this thing for the first time and uh, see how it looks. So let's do the little side profile here. Again, that's the inside. So I will crack. Actually, there's no tape. I had my little knife here, but I thought there would be tape. There might be any inside. So, let's finally unbox this and take a peek at it. This is the colored version. The PX exclusive is the colored version of this figure. You can also get this figure uh, in black and white as well. So, it just slips out kind of like this. And it just has, there's probably tape on this one. No, there isn't actually. So, it just kind of slips out with the top cover coming off. Random baggie, and here's how you can see it out of the package. So let's pull this out. Let's set up the base. It looks like it comes with an alternative head, alternative set of hands, and a pair of shackles. So first, there's the little shackles, and it comes with two alternate hands. I don't really see a difference. In the hand. Oh, okay, this one's a little bit more. You guys see there? They're a little bit more open handed. Uh, and then we have an alternate head. This is with like the grimacing face instead of the uh, solid face without the smile. Oh, sorry, you guys can see it there. And then the figure itself. We'll pull that out. He's got his. Uh, Little protectors on his hands here, so we'll pull them off. And then uh, we'll set up the base and see what this bad boy looks like. So there's another little section that comes out, and then it is provided a little base in here as well. So really cool, it has like the electrodes on it. So let's set this up and see what it looks like. I'm not gonna change out the head right now. But we'll plug him in to this. And we'll see what it looks like. So there we go. This is the 2016 PX Green Variant uh, 112 figure. Retro cloth, actually. Uh, I wasn't even sure if it was retro cloth or not because I had never really looked at it after I bought it. Again, that's the beauty of me revisiting these things again and opening them now um, because I get to experience it again for the first time. Um, so yeah, it's nice collecting the stuff, but finally being able to open some of this stuff and clear some space is going to be really cool. So we'll just give you a little spin on him. It's smaller than I actually thought for the cost of these Mezco 112s. Uh, I think I paid around 70 or $80 for this around the time when it came out. Um, and at the time I wasn't so concerned because it wasn't exclusive and at the time I was trying to get exclusive figures. Um, but in today, like if I saw this come up today, I wouldn't pay that for it, honestly. Um, I think that 
it kind of had that high mark when this first came out. Um, but looking at it and looking at the size now, it even is smaller to it. It's like skinnier and thinner and it seems more frail than even a NECA. I hate to say that about Mezco because I love Mezco stuff, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I want to say thanks guys for tuning in to this episode of Horror and Me and checking out this unboxing of this figure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We have a lot of cool stuff coming up. Uh, as you can see more uh, unboxing figures and stuff like this still continuing with toy hunting I also plan to go to Walgreens and also Home Depot Sometime this weekend and get a video out for you guys about what they have there I also saw that there's some really cool stuff at Big Lots right now So if you're looking for Halloween stuff on the cheap, that's kind of different uh, I saw Big Lots if you have that store. It's a pretty good one to check out. So I want to say thanks guys I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day